we've got our own ground. Hopefully there's a bunch of gold in it. That is 24-year-old Parker Schnabel. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 He's an ambitious and talented Spitfire who just happened to mine more than $7 million worth of gold last year alone. Represents 5,791 ounces. He's one of three hardcore gold miners, braving the harsh conditions of the northern Yukon. There's a half a million dollars on the table. This puts us over 3,000 ounces, and we still got a pile to go. They're all in a fierce competition. We're driving through my yard, keep everything on that side of the line. I'll keep mine on this side. Playing out on Discovery's hit show, Gold Rush, now in its ninth season. How's it going? Hey. Nice to meet you. And for the first time, they're oh, letting an outsider in to see where the bling is buried. This is our little uh, hole in the ground. Parker shears away everything in his path, then digs giant trenches, creating what miners call a cut. We usually mine about, about two to three million square feet a year. This cut will end up being one of the biggest ones that we've ever done. So this is just one of the pieces of equipment that they use. This one, I guess, his new toy costs over a million dollars. We rip frozen mud with it. All the ground that we mine right now is covered in a, a layer that's usually about 10 feet thick of, um, of this frozen mud. This is the wash plant. Yeah, this is the wash plant. And this is where the money gets made. Once the piles of mud are loaded up, they're doused with water and sorted. All of the coarse stuff goes out and up that conveyor belt, and then all of the fines that mm -hmm. has the gold in it come down into these side chutes. The gold is then separated. The flakes put into containers and sold to gold buyers. Assuming it holds up the way it was last fall, we'll have done like 2,000 ounces out of there, and that's you know basically about two million bucks. It's amazing to look at dirt and think of my two million. My trip bucks. to gold country wouldn't have been complete without trying my own luck. One more question, I forgot. The old school way. Thanks, Parker. Get your gold pan. Got it. So about like flakes is what you're mining at this point. Like yeah, most of the like, stuff that you see. The little stuff is what makes the weight, you know? Like we make our money on super fine gold. But, so we found some garnets and one lonely little flake of gold. Ah, it's there. Yeah, ter so that's the terrible first one? pan. Oh, that's a terrible pan? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was great. Yeah, we found gold. <laughs> <laughs> So we're normally looking. So we're normally looking for like ten colors at least, or something. One. There's one in there. <laughs> yeah, real great. Look at your um, ripple. So that's um, that's probably about twenty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. But like, there's some nice sized chunks in there and whatnot. Like, it doesn't make me like jump for joy, but I'd be comfortable with that. For Nightline, I'm Ginger Z in the Yukon Territory.